What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. We are back in Grounded today. Uh, they've done yet another update. This game is being updated absolutely rapidly. Uh, I was going to do a video about this last week, but I got caught up with other videos. That was re the release of 7.0 or 7.1 and now we're all the way up to 7.2. Uh, so things are getting away from me with this game a little bit. They are doing so well at putting out new updates when they can do. Uh, in the last episode, uh, what do we do? We built this thing. This is a uh, stuffed little firefly. We found a bunch of fireflies. There's a beehive now near my castle. And uh, I did manage to go in a little bit and explore it, but there was uh, some very angry bees that weren't too happy with me. Uh, they've added a few more things in. Uh, I did notice in the patch notes, of course, I pressed the wrong button. It's me. You should all be used to me pressing the wrong button by now. Uh, in the uh, Oh, base building. There we go. So in the base building, they've added some new things, which actually sound quite interesting to do. And I kind of wish they were there for some of the buildings I'd have already done. Uh, so they've now got stem floors was one of the things I saw, which is really nice. So you can add some stem floors and some triangle stem floors. Get rid of all those grass planks that you've got on the ground. Uh, I believe they've changed the pebblets. Yes, they have. So that now needs one more pebblet for the pebblet foundation. Uh, what else they got in here? Anything else? Oh, of course, the acorn spiral stairs. I thought we might need to research them. So they look really cool. And I sort of want to try and work out how I can get them. Maybe into the towers that I've got in the castle. I think that might be a really nice thing just to add in. Um, what else we got here? Utilities. What else is in the utilities? They've also done a bit of stuff with being able to move things around. The sap catcher has now changed to look like an acorn thing dangling, which is pretty cool. A zipline wall anchor. So they've done a whole bunch of stuff that you don't even need to research with uh, some raw science. It's just straight there for you. And finally, the decor. We've got some railings for stairs. So uh, I do have a couple of things on my castle. Uh, so they've definitely added a whole bunch more things, which I'm really liking. Um, they've also added uh, the ability. I don't know if I have any uh, berry chunks. Oh, they've changed the... Uh, oh, I didn't know they changed this. <laughs> they've changed all the uh, the layout of this. It's now side by side. Uh, unanalyzed. Oh, I can analyze the pollen. We'll do that. Uh, I don't know if I have any berry chunks, but you can now dry berry chunks on, uh, on the rack, which I think is really nice to get berry leather. So you've got a one-to-one -one ratio rather than a a three to one. So I thought we'd go and just check out some of the things. We'll see what we can build. They have also changed the way food and drink works in this game. And I'm not a huge fan of the changes that they seem to have suggested. It seems to be that once you now go below the 80% marker with your uh, food and drink, you'll stop regaining health. But then once you go below 20%, you actually begin to just die. And I'm not as sure if I like that. I quite like the idea of if you run out of food or water, you sort of go down to the the one health, but you can sort of just try and avoid damage and you can still survive, whereas now you can just die if you run out of food and water. I'm not sure if I'm super happy about that. Uh, let's research the pollen. I actually have no idea what pollen makes. Uh, the Shinobi Sneeze. Okay, that's a new thing. Uh, I didn't know what that was going to be. Let's check out Burgle. Anything good? Oh, no, I don't want to call my parents. <laughs> uh, any work for me? I think I still have three quests. I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, what are we not going to do? Let's abandon the uh, those. We'll see if Burgle comes up with any new quests for us. I don't know if there's any new Burgle chips with 7.2. I believe it's just a couple of extra additions they've done to the game in terms of building things and crafting things. So I think that'll be interesting. I do sort of want to continue. Oh, hello, Mr. Weevil. I actually might kill you. Uh, because I definitely want more meat for my shield, which they have doubled the amount of duration on, which I really like. I'm a big fan of the shield, but it did used to break very easily. So they've managed to double the duration of it now, so you can take a lot more damage. So I'm very glad about that, because it means I'll actually <laughs> not not die just instantly trying to fight stuff. Uh, do I have my hammer on me? Yes, I do. Let's break some acorns, because I'm not sure how many acorn parts I have. And I kind of want to see if I can build some of those stairs, including getting some of these uh, acorn bits for some food. Because no doubt I'll run out of food. And you can now die if you don't have food, which I'm not uh, <laughs> not a fan of. Let's break open some of these acorns. I think you also now only get one bit from an acorn. Uh, you used to always get two when you break them apart, but I've broken up quite a few there. And uh, oh, I can't manage to uh, get that thing. Oh, I'm not wearing a helmet. Didn't realize. Probably want to grab a helmet at some point. Uh, they've also added a couple of really interesting little features. I've seen uh, some stuff about the zip lines. You can now send resources down zip lines. So I think we'll uh, we'll give that a test. And uh, we'll make our way over to the castle. Because I do want to keep building the castle. Because there's a lot of work gone on there that I haven't done very little. So let's just have a look at this. If you uh, grab some weed stems. Let's go uh, 
Let's go investigate what happens with these uh, these new zip lines. I've got my tower up there because I believe you can now send these down a zip line rather than you having to sort of collect things everywhere you go. Oh, there's some more food. I will take food. Very nice. Very easy. They've also now done, they've removed the, if you guys remember, there was these sort of pretend zip lines that used to be on top of this lamp and also on the uh, on the paint can which is over there which you couldn't do anything with i thought maybe you'd be able to use them as like an already created anchor point but they don't seem to work so the, they've actually removed Feel those that. now so that <laughs> okay i mean fair enough i would have much preferred it if they just kept them there i'm going to hurt myself i think i've still got my daredevil perk on uh, <laughs> so I hopefully didn't take a lot of damage from that. I will take some more water. Seeing, oh, you can't drink anymore while you're holding things. Interesting. I uh, didn't know that was a thing. Uh, I used to quite enjoy just being able to drink while walking. So let's try and actually do that again. Let's get up to the top and uh, we can check out what happens with these weed stems. Okay, so here it is. So we're going to go over to the castle that I got over there with the beehive. But I believe you can now... Yeah, look at that! <laughs> you can now hang everything on the... Uh on the zip line as well and we can chase it down so you can now move resources across the uh, across the zip line which i think is a really cool feature so if you've got buildings across the map from each other you no longer have to just gather resources around where you're building you can literally transport them from place to place which will be a big help if i wasn't building on the tallest thing ever um i'm not sure what happens when they hit the ground do they just wait for you or are they going to fly off into the middle of nowhere because mine of course goes off hello mr b uh <laughs> oh and another one uh, where do they go? Oh, yeah, they seem to be, uh, I mean, that's quite useful. So, I mean, that would be a, uh, a pretty good way to get resources to my castle quite easily. Uh, I don't believe there's a limit or anything to sending items. Right, I've got to not get any bees. That <laughs> They don't look like they're having a good time over there. Right, here's the beehive that we did get into last time. I'm just going to run past... Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. Are they sleeping or dead? <laughs> if they're sleeping, it would be a good amount of bee parts. I think they're just sleeping. Uh, yep, I'm not going to mess about with those guys. So this is the castle uh, that we were building. I don't even know how long ago now. Months? Uh, I want to say literally months. And we did do a big chunk. We got all three towers done. We had one wall left to finish and one tower. So I thought that would probably be a bit of fun to do today, just to finish off that castle. It's been so long <laughs> just building this castle. I've never got around to it. And now that we've got these uh, wooden floors and stuff, we can probably do a lot more. So what can I put where? Because I've got an awful lot of stuff. Right, let's start uh, by... I'm probably going to have to keep a weapon on me, which is going to be slightly annoying. Oh, apparently I have a uh, helmet there. Uh, I'll, keep... I'll keep the hammer and the spear on me just in case and I'll take the uh, the food back with me so that I don't run out of food uh, but just in case the bees decide to attack me at least this way I can uh, protect myself a little bit let's go over to our inventory because for some reason I've got this in here oh no oh that's another thing so when you actually go to mend things now they've changed the mending system so the mending system will now always take one quartzite to mend something and then uh, a a part of whatever it takes to make the item, which is, is quite a nice update. I mean, it's going to be a little bit more annoying for anyone playing, but uh, I actually quite like it as a as a design um, because it sort of makes sense then rather than using rocks to repair a face mask. You actually now have to use the, uh, the proper thing. Uh, let's put some clay in there and I want to get my pebbles. That's more clay. Look how much clay I have. Uh, <laughs> let's get all my pebbles in here. So they have now up the price for the pebblets. So, um, we're going to have to end up using more pebblets to make these blocks than the clay. Which should be okay. We're quite near quite a lot of pebblets, so we should be able to use that quite well. Um, so this is where we were to last time. I believe the outline is done. I believe the outline works. So we can get on with just building a lot of this uh, today, which is... The issue for me was trying to uh, work out how it all works. For some reason, the castle isn't quite even. So for anyone who suffers with... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> everything needing to be absolutely perfect. Uh, it's not quite perfect, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, I believe I've built everything the same way. I think trying to make a round um, circle out of square blocks sort of throws off the maths a little bit when you're building the circle. So it's not 100% perfect, but it's definitely better than nothing. Uh, right, we've got the floor there. 
I don't really want to waste a bunch of pebbles making the, uh, the floor if I can help it. Um, I've also got to try to remember how to build all this now. It's been so long since I've done a, a big section of building. So I believe I used to do like a staircase method when I was doing these, uh, these videos before. Um, how am I going to do this? Right, let's go one over here, one there, one there, uh, come around here. Uh, and then I would like to... Is that level... Oh, God, it's, it's already going wrong. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, let's uh, do this one. And we've got a couple more that are going to go along there and there. Feels like these are really snapping in very awkward ways. Um, I also feel really close. Does this feel very close for anyone else? I feel like I'm exceptionally close to where I'm placing these blocks. Um in order for them to go to the place I want to. Even my hammer and my shield feel really close, like the uh, the depth of view has been changed uh, a little bit. Um, I might need to go into the settings in a bit and look at whether I'm going to change that back. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of how close I feel at the minute. Uh, there we go. And we will build these towers all the way to the top. But I do like that they are still supporting this game with new um, creations and new stuff to add into the game. Like they've got... You know, new flooring coming in, new craftable items. They're doing a real good job. They did stop for a little while. Uh, there was a couple of months, I think, after COVID started where they sort of backed off a little bit. But they've really done well at managing to keep up to date with all these sort of uh, new additions coming in. I've already messed up my stair system. That was clever of me. Um, so I'll now have to create the stair system this way, I think. Uh, I actually can't even remember how tall all of this used to be. Um, you go there. Where do I want you? There. In fact, did I even used to build these from on top? Oh, hello. What's this? Unsupported. Great. <laughs> Nothing this game loves more. Oh, have I just... Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> just built the wrong things. So that'll be a waste of clay. That was clever of me. I don't want a red layer in the middle of my castle. Let's go rid of this too as well. Boop, boop. Nope. Come here, clay. Uh, where did it go? How did I do that? <laughs> Well, let's try that again. There's one there, one there. Uh, one here and one here. Uh, so this will probably be a little bit more of a uh, of a building episode. I don't believe they've actually added a lot around. Um, I did read they've changed a couple of the attacks for things like the bees as well. Um, so they are trying to update some of the creatures and stuff, but nothing to a... Uh... Oh, hello. You don't want to go on there now. Okay. Uh, I did also read they've changed some of the building mechanics a little bit. I've seen a couple of people complaining about uh, blocks not snapping quite to where they want them to be. Um, so we'll have to see how we get on here because this castle is very awkward. Things like this. Why is it built over on the side? Um, so yeah, I've, I've, a couple of people have been a little bit annoyed about their building mechanics. I believe they tried to change it. People have said you can no longer build like upwards very high. And uh, I'm inclined to believe it because of how close these blocks feel when you're placing them. It does feel a little bit... Um, sort of like everything's in the way. Right, I believe that was always meant to be one higher. So I no longer need to build that any higher up. Do I? Or do I? <laughs> uh, staircase down, it was always one grass short. No, I think, I think that stops there. Um, and you're going to stop there. Is that right? Am I... Is my ma have I just done another? What is what is wrong with me, guys? <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? A pebblet foundation. Build a pebblet foundation. Oh my god, I'm already out of uh, of pebblets. Right, let's run back and get some more pebblets. Um, I might even build the rest of that wall before continuing with that tower to try and judge the uh, the height of it. But I do like that they are keeping up to date with uh, with the grounded. Are still doing. A bunch of updates. Please stay over there, Mr. B. I mean you no harm. Uh, look how much clay I managed to get for this build. <laughs> it takes so much to do. Uh, some pebble, pebble, pebbles. Uh, I'm actually not sure how much is going to affect me now that it takes more pebbles to build. Um, in fact, I'm missing a... Am I missing a chest? Oh, no, there it is. I was going to say, I definitely had a chest of... Uh, of pebbles that don't seem to be there anymore. That doesn't fill me with confidence. Right, let's, uh, let's walk along this wall. But it did take an awful lot of resources to build in this game. Um, 
I, I can't remember what I did. I did do in one of the videos, I did do a bit of a breakdown of how much it costs to build each one of the towers. And it was something like over a thousand clay to build each one of these towers. And then you mix in the uh, the walls and stuff and it... Oh, not the clay foundation. Um, <laughs> and it really begins to, uh, to pile up a lot in terms of... Uh, the resource cost to build. Yeah, it's really hard to snap into place now. They've definitely changed uh, something to do with the the building mechanics of this game. I think let's uh, let's do it from up here, and we'll try and. Yeah, I don't, it's really close. I see what people are mean now. A couple of people have, were complaining about the building mechanics have changed, and I can really see it. We'll try doing it backwards, and seeing if that uh, that works better. Of course, you walk ridiculously slow backwards now. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, maybe this is the best route of the minute. I definitely feel like he used to walk quicker backwards. Is that something they've changed as well? Wow, yeah, this is really slow. So they've definitely changed uh, something along the way, and then you sort of build forwards as you're going. I definitely think I'm going to run out of pebbles very quickly doing this. If, if I can't still get this castle finished, <laughs> after all this time, it still may not happen today. Um... I think I only need to do like another four rows of the uh, the actual castle uh, wall. But I think the extra tablets that it takes to use... Where's this bee? I can hear bees. <laughs> Please don't attack me, bees. I mean you no harm. I'm just building a castle. And you don't need to be involved. You don't need to come sting me or break my castle, which has always been the biggest fear in this game is that... Uh, they were going to put something on this uh, on this table that was going to ruin my uh, my castle for me. And I can see it coming. So hopefully... Uh, I mean, one day they're definitely going to add an addition onto this table. And it means that <laughs> they're probably going to break a big chunk of this castle, which is going to be such a shame. Uh, right, let's that row done. More pebblet foundations. Yeah, you definitely walk backwards slower than you used to. I don't remember ever being this slow before. It's so slow. <laughs> Come on, Max, get a move on. Um, I've also now got to keep more of an eye on my uh, on my water and my health because apparently now you will just slowly begin to die if you don't keep that up. I really hope they revert that back um, because I'm not going to be a fan of. Uh, oh God, I've already I've already messed it up. I've already messed it up. Let's jump back up there. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to be a fan of dying. I, I'm one of those people that doesn't take any of the water canteens anywhere with me in this game. Um, <laughs> which I'm probably is why they've added this addition now that uh, if you don't drink water, you can actually die. Um, because I imagine a lot of people didn't take the water canteens with them because it wasn't really necessary. You could definitely get around relatively easily without needing water. You could even drink the... Uh, the dirty water if you needed as long as you had enough food in your uh, in your backpack you could just immediately fill back up on uh, on food after you'd drunk the dirty water and been sick so I guess there's probably a reason why they've done it to try and keep more people trying to use every one of the items they got in but it's just a little bit annoying that the uh, uh, where am I running to here that the um, the canteen takes up a slot in your inventory um, and it used to really annoy me that it takes that extra slot when you could use that for a weapon or resource gathering rather than a canteen just to drink water. You can just drink water on the go, uh, which is why the, the sort of water rain catcher things they added into the game was so useful in this game. Being able to uh, not be super depending on needing to always find water. Yeah, they've definitely uh, done a big number here by increasing the cost of the, uh, the pebble foundations. My clay is going down much slower than the... Uh, than the pebblets because of that one extra pebblet. It's only 50% more, but over something of this size, it definitely begins to uh, become a big deal in this game. That should be the last row for the wall. And then we've just got to do the um, little turrets. How much further? <laughs> I don't want to walk backwards. Uh, in fact, is that... The last one there. Yep, it looks like it, right? So we can build these, and I'll have to go back and get a little bit more clay. Uh, I can build one more. There we go. Yes, I know I'm tired, but don't worry, Max. We'll be fine. 
Uh, there we go, remove those markers. I can say my, my heads up display was just all uh, all different markers. Then let's grab some more uh, some more water because we don't want to die. Tastes good. There we go. Be interested to know what other people think about the um, the addition of this. If you don't drink water, you actually die. Um, I, I don't think I'll like that, especially if I'm on a long adventure in this game. Um, and considering that the campaign for this game isn't super long, because obviously they're still in development, there's new things to find. Um, when new things come out, I do like to spend a lot of time uh, investigating like the new hedge lab bases and stuff that they build and trying to read different things when you're going underwater in the pond base. I did like to spend a lot of time investigating and stuff and the idea now that you're going to have to either keep going back for water or maybe have to bring multiple canteens otherwise you'll just die. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of so let me know down in the comments what other people think about in terms of the actual uh, canteen being a super necessity now because of water being able to kill you if you uh, get too thirsty. Not sure how much I agree with that. Right, so we're here now. Let's do the uh, pebblet ramps. Have they fixed the pebblet ramps so that they can go any way I want them to? Because that would be nice. Uh, well, we got one there at least. This was always an issue with the castle further along as well. Was uh, These pebblet ramps didn't used to rotate in every direction, but they seem to now. That actually might be something I might go back and do in a... Uh, in a later episode, is go and rotate these. It never used to rotate all the way around. It only used to rotate some ways, which was really weird. <laughs> there was no sort of rhyme or reason why they only faced one direction. So hopefully it'll uh, be able to be improved pretty easily. I might have to go and destroy all the ones I've already built. In fact, I could just do... Oh, even these cost one more pebble. I actually didn't realise that. This is now... I think this used to be one clay and one pebblet, so this is now two pebblets to build these. Um, uh, we're looking good. Uh, final one there, right. So we've pretty much built the final wall, so that's some pretty good progress. We're not super far into the episode yet, but we're uh, we're going on well here. Right, where's my pebble of foundation? Need one there, and I need one there and one there. Unsupported, of course. I forgot being supported was a thing now. Uh, I have no idea how I'm going to do my uh, my archways as well because that used to, that's going to be a difficult thing. Um, how am I going to do this? <laughs> what if I go down? There we go. Done. <laughs> Beat the system. Boom. Okay, let's uh, finish off my little row of the pebble ramps. One there. Oh, that's just in the middle of nowhere. Superb. Well done, Mad Dragon. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Boom! So we got the whole wall done along here now. Um, I'm going to keep that little step there just so I can get into the tower when I need to. We will finish off this little walk away. So, uh, where do I want to keep going now? So I want to keep this little staircase open to myself. Um... And we want to start building ground on the other side, like this. Um, so for anyone who hasn't done a sort of big build like this, I definitely tried to find little ways to make this uh, quicker and easier. And the best way I found was to lay out all your blue uh, sort of highlighted areas. And then to try and build your way around in a staircase motion. Because that way you can always just jump back up to the top and uh, start at the top where you were before. I hope I've built these out of pebble foundations now. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's really hard to get these to clip to where I uh, where I want them to now. All right, let's go up here. So you slowly build your way around in a circular fashion like this. And then when you get around to the final one, like here, I will build this one. And this way I have a little staircase to walk up. So from here I will now build from this one onwards. And slowly you work your way around and then you can just go around afterwards and uh, and fill all the little missing gaps in because it's not too difficult then. Let's go around here. Oh no! However, falling inside, <laughs> that could be an issue. Uh, let's build another one there. I'll build that there. There you go. See? Staircases. Staircases are useful in this game to, uh, to get out. In fact, I haven't actually chopped a lot of grass, so I definitely won't be able to finish the internal side of the, uh, of the towers today because I... 
normally have the towers set up so they've got uh, two floors on the tower. Which is uh, not going to be easy without grass. So I'm probably going to need to go do that at some other point. But I would definitely like to get the main body and outline of these done at some point. Let's uh, keep going around. Oh, I've run out of pebblets again. Right, let's run back and get some more pebblets. But the wall is looking strong. It's looking good now. No one's getting through this castle. Not sure who's going to attack my castle. Uh, that's some interesting uh, lighting effect coming through my bricks there. I can hear a bee. I don't want to mess with the bees. I'm actually slowly chunking away at these pebblets. Oh my goodness. I think that increase of pebblets up to uh, up to three rather than two is really going to damage me here. I actually might not get this done today. <laughs> oh, but we'll see how we get on. Hopefully, whoop, not that way. But I am loving that Grounded is still going. Uh, we had the most popular viewed Grounded video ever uh, on the channel last week uh, investigating the beehive. It's got over like a thousand views now, which I, I know in the context of YouTube doesn't sound like huge numbers. You know, a thousand views. Doesn't everyone get a thousand views? But when you're a channel as big as mine, uh, we just crossed the 500 subscribers mark as well, which is super nice. Uh, so thank you to everyone that does watch these videos and does enjoy watching me fail at killing some bugs and doing these sort of buildings and stuff. Thank you for taking the time and effort to uh, to subscribe to the channel because it is really appreciated. Um, I've been really enjoying playing this game. And uh, although the, the other videos I do on the channel, whether it be some of the rugby videos or some of the film reviews, uh, do tend to maybe get more views than the grounded ones. But this is such a nice atmosphere for me. I enjoy just sitting down and, and playing some games. It's always been a big part of my life and... You know, I want it to be part of the channel doing games. So when people do uh, do comment on these videos and, and leave positive comments and drop these videos likes and subscribe to the channel and say they're enjoying these sorts of series, it makes me feel like, oh, this is... I'm, I'm so glad that the uh, the games and stuff can keep coming and uh, people are going to enjoy them and are going to uh, watch along. Because I, I personally think Grounded is such a good game. Um, they've been at it now for an awful long time and it's still not released. It's still in their early access phase. Um, I've no idea where they're going to go. I mean, the, they can sort of do whatever they want with this game, really. I mean, it's it's looking really good at the minute. In fact, did I need to build another wall here? I think I needed to do another wall there. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds like something I would do. Uh, okay. Yes, I actually needed to build all the way across here. But like a fool, I haven't. <laughs> um, what's my plan here? I think I need to build... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. I'm going to make sure I've got my daredevil perk on. Yes, I do. Can I get back up there? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> well, Geronimo! <laughs> Boom. I love that daredevil perk. You do not take a lot of damage. Right, let's get back. Let's get back up to the castle and uh, try that again. Oh, actually, there's a point. Look at all the nectar. <laughs> I forgot about all of this, so I can just, uh, in fact, I never need to worry about uh, food or drink because I can just collect so much nectar that I can uh, take all of this and just keep myself thirst and hunger filled for the whole duration. Love it. I've just noticed that at the night time, all of the bees go to sleep. Should we try jumping back inside there? It's only that one dude. Is there anything in here? I wish I brought that headlamp with me. I mean, I can steal a bunch of nectar. <laughs> um, so yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. But I mean, you can take a whole bunch of nectar and uh, supply yourself theoretically forever. Um, there doesn't seem to be a door or uh, or anything in here. Um, but. It doesn't seem to go anywhere. I kind of wish they had like a a little internal bit. You can maybe get some like honey or some honeycomb or something and chop away at it. In fact, let's just double check. Uh, I was going to say I was going to double check. There isn't anything that I can use to chop. It doesn't show up anywhere. You can chop the beehive to get honey. It just looks like a lot of nectar. Uh, and this lovely fellow right here. Hello, Mr. Bee. Um... So yeah, but that's the inside of the beehive, guys. For any of you who didn't see the uh, the last episode, I'm going to jump back down here now and uh, 
injure myself again. It makes my stomach go all weird every time. <laughs> it's like when you go over a hill in a car really quickly, or like on a roller coaster. It just messes with you. Uh, right, I'll get back up to the castle, and then we can uh, carry on with the build. Alrighty, guys. So I've been building through the night because it got really dark and it was being a little bit annoying. So I've gone around and I've finished off this wall. So I've now managed to get the full circle all the way around so I can actually <laughs> walk across. Uh, so that's where the staircase is going to go. And I've got to rejoin all this back up with uh, with the grass planks. I also realized they've added in... Um, where did I see it? There was like a little half grass plank. So you can just do, uh, just do two instead of one, which is quite a nice idea, actually. It saves you on... Uh, Having to run back and forth to get grass, but uh, I've uh, I've done four all the way around, so I'm probably not going to change that. I've still got to finish off filling in that uh, <laughs> that crack in the table at some point. Uh, let's keep going along here. Boom, and then that will lead to this staircase, and uh, that will be the main run around as we've got for uh, all the other sides. As you can see there, the old staircase is going up. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to complete this. I am already down to my last, like, ten pieces of stone, uh, which I'm not uh, too happy about. <laughs> I thought I was uh, easily going to have enough, and it turns out that's harder than it expected to be. Um, so that was the staircase up. So I need to then also have the Pebblet Foundation be... Oh yeah, of course these are unsupported. So if you guys remember when I was doing my original videos, I left these little doorways open in the clay, which was basically putting down the foundations. Oh, I fell down. Superb. I basically put down the foundations, built them up, and then deleted them from underneath. Uh, so if you actually go underneath the doorway where the doors are, you can actually see all the way through. <laughs> but it does allow you to create these sort of archway effect in the towers, which I really liked. Um, but... I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that now. With their most recent patch of doing buildings and things, the way that you have to know everything has to be supported one underneath, uh, this could be a bit of an issue to actually build. I might need to get rid of the grass plank. Can I just do this out of clay for now, maybe? Let's see what I can do here, because I actually have an, a massive excess of clay, uh, rather than how tall do I need this to be. So I'm up here. One, two, needs to, be, needs to be another one. And then I need to be able to put a clay or a pebble foundation on top of that. Build that. What happens if I delete this? No. Okay. They've ruined my archways. <laughs> um, oh, no. Okay. What if I try my other technique that I used to do where I had... There was also a, a sort of rule with this game that it, if, if things had things adjacent, they were also classed as uh, as existing. So if you do this and then build another one here, because this is now technically touching something else, um, I'll do the same on this side as well. It did sometimes used to allow you to remove this. Yes, it still works. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My system works out. There we go. So that's how you create an archway in uh, <laughs> with all their new stuff going on. Uh, I'll leave that as a thing for now. I just need some grass to go. Why aren't you going on top of there? Oh, you can't build grass on top of clay anymore. My goodness, they, there's a whole bunch of changes they've made to this building that actually makes building more complicated. Why would you make building in this game more complicated? It is already so much more complicated than something like Minecraft, and you've already now got to find uh, ways around other things. So let's... Uh... Oh, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this. This is so annoying. I can't believe... I'm not going to have enough uh, pebblets to finish building this off. I can go and collect more, but the amount I need, I just think, is going to be enormous in comparison to uh, to actually being able to complete this fully. I, c I cannot believe I can't finish this. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, I can build another two. 
Uh, and then that will be me out of uh, Pablets. Yeah. Well, we built half tower. I mean, we've done the final wall, to be fair. It, it won't look atrocious. It'll just look almost complete. So basically, we've got about half a tower left to build because they decided to screw me <laughs> and made the cost a little bit more. There's a bee at my castle door. Hello, Mr. B. No! Stop breaking my castle. I'm going to run away. That's going to be the only issue I'm going to have to worry about now is uh, <laughs> if bees ever start attacking my castle, I could be in a lot of trouble. Um, I also want to build another floor panel under there. Is the grass unsupported as well? No, that just says missing planks. That's fine. I can... Still easily do that. What else should we have a look at, guys? We've uh, not managed to do what I wanted to do today. Um, but we've definitely managed to do a big chunk of that castle. What, the, what does it take to build these staircases? Crude rope, acorn shells, and one weed stem. How big are they? Oh, they're quite big, actually. Um, oh, that's weird. Okay, they're like sort of... Uh, they've got a bit of a weird uh, twist on them. Where can I build these? <laughs> I really want to add them somewhere. I think they're really cool. Um, I could maybe add it in here. Where this staircase is instead. How many how many squares do they take up is the only thing I don't got. I hate that it's so close. Why is the building thing always so close to your face? Um, so if you do one there. What would you say that is? Like two and a bit squares? And you climb up. So to actually go up a level, you need to make them fit. I mean, that could look nice, actually, rather than uh, the sort of ramp staircase that you need. It takes an awful lot of acorn shells, but I actually quite like the uh, the visual look of them. Uh, they're a little bit hard to get facing the right way. Is that actually straight? Like, where's where's a straight line? It looks slightly off. I feel like the straight line should be there. Um, hopefully you can still uh, walk up and down that, but that's quite cool. Uh, what else did they add in? They also added um, the staircase fences. That's interesting. <laughs> when I press RT... My guy is jumping forwards in the background. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, what else have we got? Where's the uh, where's the staircase railings? They look cool. So you can now add these onto staircases, which I definitely think I want to do. Uh, what did it take to build these? Crude rope and sprigs. Uh, I should have both of those, I believe, uh, in my little chest of goodies over here. Let's have a look. Uh... Yep, crude rope and clovers. Absolutely. Oh, damn. I can't even get in now. Is that bee still by my door? No, he's left it alone now. Good. <laughs> you don't need to nap at my door. Oh, he hasn't done a lot of damage. That's fine. I can uh, I can live with that for now. Let's, uh, let's build these on. Yeah, now we're going. I do like it. I like all these little additions they do, like little uh, decor things and stuff. I think that looks great. I would realistically like to have the uh, the rope go all the way around. It just takes an awful lot of clovers to actually build. I mean, we can build another one here as well, I guess. Uh... Oh, it's a little bit finicky with this staircase, apparently. Why, why won't you go on there? Huh. It goes on that side. Oh. How weird. It just doesn't want to clip onto... There. It either wants to go in the middle of the staircase or there. That's interesting. Okay, we can't do that one, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, for anyone who hasn't seen the castle, uh, we've got a two-tier system in each one of the towers that you can climb up and uh, fire some shots down. I mean, if you ever want to go bee hunting, <laughs> this might be the place to go at night. Uh, we've also got a little gatehouse. Whoop. There we go. And, uh, of course, we've got a little workbench in here. We've got a lovely drawing of a crow. Uh, and a... This is the Excalibur dagger we got from the rock. I remember that. 
light a fire, keep guard over our castle. I don't actually know if the uh, crow lands here anymore. The crow used to land there, which is why my staircase goes all weird in the middle. Um, but I think now they've added in the, the beehive, they might have had to stop the crow being able to uh, to spawn there. But I definitely think the castle is looking cool. Let's go have a look at it from, uh, from a good distance so we can appreciate how the castle is looking at the minute. There it is, guys. It's slowly taking shape. I mean, we have a load of bees flying around now. Um, but I think the castle's looking awesome. In fact, you can see just how many bees there actually are in this map. There's a, there's a whole bunch more. They've definitely added a lot more. Of course, we found the fireflies over... Where was that? Over there somewhere, I think we found all the fireflies last time. But the castle is getting on really well. I'm so annoyed I haven't been able to finish this. I really thought I was going to get this castle finished today. Um, I'll have to go get some more pebbles in my off time. I mean, that took an entire chest and a half full of pebblets. And uh, we managed to finish off the uh, the far wall and half the tower. So hopefully by the time we get around to finishing off this castle, I'll be able to get a bunch of grass planks. We've got to do half the wall there and the full walkway on that wall. And then I obviously need about another chest and a half full of pebblets. And uh, we can finish off that tower. And then the castle will technically be done. So if anyone has any ideas about what to add into the castle... Uh, I was thinking about making maybe like a like a barracks and adding in some different buildings with all the different equipment in. Maybe an archery range or something I thought could be cool. I have no idea when they're eventually going to build <laughs> on this uh, on this table and ruin everything. Hopefully now they've got the beehive there, they'll be less inclined to add stuff. And if you do, if there's any developers from Grounded that happen to be watching, uh, please build it in the middle of my castle. Uh, <laughs> so it doesn't break anything. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, well, thank you for everyone for watching this video today. Hopefully uh, there's some couple of new people here who did subscribe for the Grounded videos. Uh, thank you for subscribing and taking the time to watch these videos. I definitely want to get this castle done next time. I hope you've all enjoyed today, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.